Hey, this is John, founder of Get Lead Forms here. So I'm pretty excited to announce that we have just released the raw code feature. Um, this is a highly requested feature and it's pretty much ready at this point. So it's like 625 right now in the morning. Um, and I've been up for a while just getting the documentation together and figured I'd shoot a quick video to walk you through how raw code works, how to add it to your website and just talk through a couple of things. So this is a highly requested feature um, and the benefits really come down to two things. It's, it's load speed for the forms and customization. So um, the first thing to note is, like I said, we just launched this. So there's a couple of tweaks that, that are going to happen inside of the UI. Um, so we'll probably tweak like where you find the raw code. But aside from that, the feature's working great and it's ready to go. So just quick example here, here's an unbounce page that I have set up and then I'll just load this real quick. So if you kind of watch what's happening, the form loads immediately. And then there's like additional customizations that I can make. So you can see like right here, it says like ZZZZA, <laughs> this is just me testing. Um, I made these customizations right to the raw code that I dropped onto the page. Whereas if we actually look at this form, there's no ZZZZ in front of the how. So um, what's really cool here is you can take this chunk of code, drop it on your page and make further customization. So for example, if you wanted to do something more robust than adding ZZZZ in front of your um, headline, you could add like a custom script to your code. You could update HTML, CSS, you can do a whole bunch of things. Um, so it kind of, it's a way of extending the functionality of lead forms if there's more advanced things you're looking to do. So that's really cool. Um, so real quick, inside of the lead forms dashboard, let me kind of walk you through how to do this. So this works for embedded forms. It works for forms using pop-up, like click pop and um, time pop and stuff like that. Um, so if you're using pop-up, you're going to have no problem with this. Um, but I think the most common use case is probably going to be embedded forms, especially where people are sending uh, direct traffic straight to pay-per-click landing pages and stuff like that. So for this example, I'm just going to focus on the use case of dropping an embedded form right onto your page using raw code. So inside of the dashboard, the first thing to note is that when you go to add the raw code, you're still going to go to the same place as usual. So add to site. And then you're still going to set the target page. So the majority of the form is decoupled from our servers, but there's still some small things that are still connected. Um, and it's nothing that's going to impact load speed or things like that, but we, you still need to have the target page set up here. So in this particular case, I have this um, unbounced page set up inside of the um, add to site section. And then I also have another page that I was testing on WordPress. So once you get the target pages part set up, scroll down, you still need to have the lead forms pixel installed on your site. This is um, key. Um, this will essentially ensure that like leads are still tracked back into the system. The analytics still works, webhooks work if you're using them. So don't skip this part. Um, so nothing changed there like that, like target page is step one script is step two. Now, when it comes to embedding the form, there's two things you need to do. So you still need to go to embed lead form here and copy the lead form embed script. I typically go with this one right here. So this embed script is essentially, this dictates where the form is going to appear while the raw code feature dictates how the form is going to look and work. So for example, on unbounce, we essentially want the form inside of this block. So what I essentially would do here is come into unbounce. Um, and then I would, um, let me just start this from scratch. So we'd come into unbounce and drag custom HTML block into the container where I want the form to appear. And then I would just simply either copy this code or just take something like this and then paste it in and hit save code. And then just kind of come in and resize it. 
And same thing for WordPress, lead pages, click funnels. Just take that code and embed it where you want the form to appear. If I wanted the form to appear all the way at the bottom, I would just drag this down to the bottom. So again, that pretty much dictates where the form is going to appear. Now, when it comes to the raw code feature, you're going to need to do one more step, and that is to generate the block of raw code. Um, and that contains all the settings that you see in the builder here. So this is the part that it's going to move. It's currently in the wrong spot. So inside of this little section here, let me pull out the pen and get fancy. So inside of this little um, section here, we're going to have a new section called raw code embed, and you can expand it and then generate the code. For now, it's in this embedded JSON section. Um, so for now, I'm just going to come down here and then click on generate raw code. So you're looking for this blue button, generate raw code, which again will be in its own section within a few days. So I'm just going to click generate. And then here's the code, the, the section. Now you have to expand it. We're going to make it so you don't have to expand it. Like that's another tweak we're going to make. Uh, but, just, but just expand it. And then you can see all of the code, so the settings, design, styling, stuff like that. You can now grab this in a block, hit copy code, then come into your page. So inside of the unbound, the, the unbalanced platform, um, there's kind of two ways you can go about this. So you can go to the JavaScript section, add new JavaScript, and embed in the header body section. It would work there. Or you can just come right in here and paste it right below where you want the form to appear. So then if I hit save code, save and republish let me see if that worked yep so it's published um the form appeared so here's that form and you can see that it's taking the exact settings that are currently inside of the dashboard so how do you plan to share get lead forms it says the same exact thing whereas I had the old version or the old page up before I just made those changes and you can see like it said something different. So for example, let's say I come into, well, let's start here. So let's say that you want to make a customization to the form. Um, maybe I want to change this headline and I'll just find this somewhere in the code. And um, I'm not really sure what to say right now. It, it's, I'm pretty tired. It's like 6.30. So I'm just going to say, hi, how are you doing? And then this will actually change their all code. And I mean, there's way more advanced things you can do. Uh, but I just want to give you a quick example. Um, so I'll refresh this page. Hi, how are you doing? And then inside of um, the, the dashboard, it still says this. So let's say that you make some changes to the form, like you change the design or this headline. Um, you're still going to need to come back in and regenerate the code each time. So that's the main downside, but it shouldn't take you more than like five minutes. So for example, let's say that we change the button colors to, I don't know, um, green here. I'll hit save and then add to site generate your all code. So I'm regenerating the code and this is going to update the settings for me. I'll just grab that. So I hit copy and then I'll go into unbounce and then I'll just take all the information from here um, down and just, oops, paste it in, click save publish that and then I'll create a new tab just to show you the difference and there we go so again each time you make a change just make sure you go in and update the um, raw code and that will get it to update and kind of be reflected to look the same way inside of the dashboard um, and then let's just take a, a look at WordPress here because it's a little different in terms of embedding the raw code. Um, 
one second, I'm going to pause that. So here's that same exact form embed it using raw code on a WordPress page. And it's actually different than the form here because this is using an older version of the raw code. Um, so let's say that I wanted to change this up to match it so it's green. I would essentially come in and I would go to the actual page. So you'll see here that for WordPress, I have the ID set up for where the lead form is going to be embedded. So lead forms embed code um, IDs right here. So this is where the lead form is going to appear. And then I put the script right down here in the body script section. Um, so that's the way that I approached it for the WordPress side. It was super simple. It was just a matter of copying and pasting those two things and I got it to work. So that's how you would approach WordPress. And again, you still want to make sure that you have the lead form script um, included in the header section of your website or landing page. So that pretty much covers what I wanted to show. Um, if you have questions or need any help at all, just feel free to shoot me a message and we'll be here to help. Thanks.